How y'all doing? I'm going to try to keep this one short. Um, <clears throat> Let's turn around. All right. Um, I'm going to tell you, this is, this is how it happens with most, like, almost every job I've ever had, right? I'd come in, and I would outwork all the other fucking numb skulls. Not a purpose, just what I do, you know? And then especially, I don't like my whole character, you get me? And then, when one of them, like, will try to call me out or something, I punk them up. And then after I punk them up, you know, I don't go somewhere and talk to the boss, say, yeah, this fucker fucked with me or nothing. Nope. But what happens is that guy goes to the boss and then I get fired. And that's how it usually happened. Um, let me see. Yeah, people are dirty. You have weak people, all right? You have weak people and you put them in charge and lazy, dude. And when anyone comes around that is any kind of like threatening to them, they just squash it. So that's why, I mean, you could see this going on. Over the last 50 years, easy, man. It's fucking, I know that. Um, but jealousy, envy, um, and it, you know, and it's, women don't help, I'm telling you about this, women don't help with that one. You know, I go to a bar to hang out with my buddy or something. When I was, you know, hanging out with him, went to a bar in like Atlanta. Fucking horrible place. Atlanta, um. And all I wanted to do was like sit off to the side and he was doing a dark tournament shit and just read my book and I'd sit in the fucking car all the time or go back to the hotel. And I couldn't, because every time I would just sit there, women would come up and approach me. Married women. And I had with, you know, four or five women flirting with me. And I could tell that like the, how it was feeling around me. And I was like, fuck, I got to get out of here. So I go, you know, weak men, you know, if your woman's with you because of a monetary gain, what's going to happen when you don't have that? And I'm going to tell you, that doesn't keep them either. You know, that money is like, uh, they laugh about you behind your back, you know? All right, kitty. Not right now. Um, but I really don't want to keep it short. But I've had so many problems. Even this day, I don't talk, there's no one I talk to because I confront, I, I can't, I have no friends because I confront everyone. Like, I don't let people, their bullshit, I don't, none of that stuff. I call everybody out on their bullshit and y'all hate it. Yeah. No phone calls, no nothing. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not Scott anymore. I'm, it's Scott left, look, at, a couple years ago. And um, my friends are memories pretty much. I don't have friends. They were acquaintances that I have memories of. Scott memories. I'm not the same dude that I was then. I wouldn't have, if you know, just like I wouldn't have slept with half, most of the women I slept with if I was the guy I am right now. Yep. Um... The police are out of control, really, too. You think about this. If you've got just a solid, weak society, it doesn't matter where you put them, but when you put them in places of power, it affects us. Do you get me? So it's not like I'm, I'm not attacking police. I'm attacking... I'm not... I'm just trying to explain to you when you have a shitty, weak society and you put shitty, weak people in front of shitty or weak people, chaos ensues. You've got... And I'm going to tell you this. You have black prosecutors and fucking whatever... And when they see the white boy come up there, it's like they just see five years, four years. These people are racist. All right, all right. They've been, they are openly allowed to be racist against white people. And you all are just sitting back watching it. Nobody's doing it. And nobody's calling the shit out. Yeah. So when everything fucking is on fire, actually burning in front of you, don't yell for God. Don't yell for nothing. Right? Just take it. That's what you're going to do. You're going to take it. Yep. 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 Nothing. 
I really am. I, I'm so looking forward to it. Just everything open it up, man. I, I mean, I'm just <laughs> can't wait. Uh, it's because it's hard to watch how foolish you people have become. You've chased money. You know, I'm going to tell you this. Look at Fat Joe. He's like the epitome of fucking what you don't need in this country. A fucking greedy, dirt. These people, and like Cat Williams. Cat Williams don't give money to like, uh, to like, uh, you know, to help anything else. He helps, he helps his fucking, he helps thugs and shit out. Do you get me? And he ain't doing it for just to be good. He's not doing it for that. He's, he has, he has ulterior motives, my friend. Let me tell you that. Cat Williams ain't who you think he is. He's got, he's got some demons himself that he's dealing with. Ugh, all these people, man, just stupidity is, is, is beyond. People have become beyond stupid. Yeah. A world full of bullies, too. You know, that's what the UFC has done. All that pussy-ass shit. There used to be real fucking, real tough men back then. But it's all gone now. You know? I mean, they are in other countries, not in America. America's become too civilized. You know, isn't that funny? As soon as you become civilized, you become fucking, um, it becomes uh, uncivil. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's why all these people are running around. I'm just watching the spider land. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Watching the spider go up and down. Um, yeah, bullies, dude. I've been dealing with them my whole life. Now, this is what I hate about people, you know. They go out. And bully who they think they can bully. Yep. And as soon as someone stands up to them, they punk right up. Yep. See, I, I was built the way I was for a reason. I'm only five foot ten, and most of my life I was, you know, all the way into up until high school. You know, I was like nineteen. I was 145 pounds, and I went to 145, 165. Then I took some, you know, then I started. Then I started doing like, um, you know, I was working at a, doing block uh, block tending and stuff like that, <laughs> brick tending, and just harder work and everything else. Yeah. I loved it, man. And I really like, you know, I just didn't like carry things. I actually like carried them and curled them and shit, you know. I just, I did, it was like a workout to me. But, um, and it's, what it is, is it's left people that look, you know, like I look like I, I could be fucked with. And I've had fucking 250 pound, 300 pound people come up to a 165 pound dude. And I will fuck you up. They don't realize it then. Do you get me? And it was so I love to see that when they would come to me and attack and they didn't know that I was a fucking, that I was the wrong guy to fuck with, dude. Yep. And then as soon as like, and that's the thing, when I was lived in South Florida in Palm City, a lot of people watched me beat motherfuckers asses, dude, that, that started the whole shit. You get me? I was just ending it. And people watched. And all of a sudden, no one fuck with me no more. So I can go anywhere I want. No one fucked with me. Then I moved. I moved to St. Augustine. Had to get back into fighting again. Moved to Orlando. Had to get back into fighting again. You know, I went through all this dude, just to leave me the fuck alone, dude. And then you got to show people. <laughs> and that's the problem. Not enough people out there showing people. You see, there's no consequence for fucking with people anymore. Nobody's, nobody's fighting. They took it out of school. So people don't even really know what they're capable of. You know, a lot of the stuff you do, you do when you're younger. And it kind of builds your character. But the way they've gone about it, they've become so unnatural... You know, and you've put all these women in charge, and, and it's just, the world's, look at it, look at it crashing down in front of you, and you're like, what's going on? What have we done different? Yeah, you've forgotten about God. America's a shithole, I ain't gonna kid you. Looking straight up shithole. Yeah. A bunch of horrible, um, greedy, selfish, immature pigs yeah that's what i get out of it yep and i love you though that's the thing because i know see i know why everything happened i know why it's all happening see wouldn't you think that the second coming of christ 
would be like people would at least at least they would confront me to 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 make fun of me, right? But you don't even see that because these people fear me. Yeah, they know exactly what I am. The real people, you know. That's why you're all waiting. Or like the people that watch my shit, you're all waiting for like the television to tell you who I am. That's not where you're gonna find out. You're gonna find out right here in reality time. You're gonna fuck it. Everything's gonna open up, and then everybody can do whatever. Then they can then they can do all their I'm um, sorry's and shit like that all they want. So I don't really give a fucking rat's ass, but I really am. I'm sick of bullies. And I'm, I'm sick of these. You know. That's the problem, man. New York's a shithole, dude. It, it really is a shithole. Yeah. I see nothing but cocky, rude motherfuckers coming out of there. I had a guy like, oh, I'm from, I'm from Long Island where a creek fighting invented. Motherfucker starts a fight with me and beat his fucking ass. You know? Then we're all right. And that's what I'm saying. I will beat someone's ass and then smoke you out. I did that. Did it before. I had a guy attack me. Just got out of fucking, just got out of fucking uh, RB, RB, you know, RB fucking whatever. And he came out. Ran after me. Just, you know, ah, ran after me. Ah. I think it was something about his sister. His sister was a whore. Yeah, fucking little drug addict. <laughs> Her little friend. And I didn't like my girlfriend hanging out with him. I'm going to tell him. I said, I don't like these two people. You know? And so, I guess he thought it'd be tough. You know, I was 145 pounds then. So he comes running at me, dude. And I just fucking stuck him. Pow. <laughs> and I fucking had him on the ground. I had him in a fucking crank. And I was coming up, and I was going to fucking come up to book it, you know. <laughs> and he fucking, oh, I'm sorry, I'm done, I'm done. So I stopped, right? And I had one of those, like, um, you know, the cylinders for the old 35 millimeter camera? Had some really good crip in there. But that bitch busted open and fell out in the ground. Well, thank God crip looks like it does. All fucking beautiful in the grass. He helped me pick it up. We went down the road, smoked, had our talk, our conversation. He goes back home, and, he, and a bunch of, I don't know what happened, who he talked to. But then I had another guy come to my house. I don't think it was his brother, you know. I had to beat his ass. Then another guy fucked with me. And then when he found out who I was, then he fucking called, apologized, and shit like this. And it's like, this all came from me telling my girlfriend, I don't like your friends. I don't like the way they act, and I don't like the way, what they're doing. That all came from that. Yep. Yep. I speak my mind. But see, I mean, I had no hate for the motherfucker. And then I had to beat that guy's ass again at another party. Yep. When they broke my fucking... They came to my house. They broke... I wasn't even living at my, you know, my parents' house. And they fucking threw a brick through my mom's, like, window. You know what that does to fucking... To a, a, to a mother... You know, say... A, a lady say... Well, you know, my dad was out of the country. She's all low. Did bricks get thrown through? I knew exactly what it was. So I had to go beat the other dude's ass again. <laughs> you get me? When I found him. And I was... Yeah. Yep. And then I had him in a headlock, dude. And I beat the shit out of him. I wouldn't let go of him, man. I had like, you know, a hundred people around. I can do the guy from the party. He's like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to count to three. I'm going to hit you in the head with this fucking, with a, with a fucking light. It was like one, two, and I, ah, I let off. And I, ah, and then I had fucking girls all over me trying to get on me and shit. Yep. Heather. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'll bet I've had more pussy than most of y'all. Yep. And that's funny. You know, all you all had to, like all these people that are famous and shit. They had, to, they had to do everything in, in the ass backwards way. Like, I'm building myself. What they're doing is pretending to be something. Yeah. That's the difference in building something and just fucking money doesn't create shit. Garbage. Yeah. Call all you fuckboys out. God bless.